when Ami, Ogote, Okeros, the blood flowed towards the north. We are still dealing with the effects. I can tell you as sure as day follows night and night follows day, if there is violent change, bloodshed will flow to the west. My mother's people will be there. Our intention is to break that cycle of violence. And we must do something we have never done before. Because those who are saying we should do what they have been trying to do before, I, I wish them luck, but they can't prove that my, my, my proposal can't work. So, why does bloodshed flow in the direction of the departing president in case there is violence? Because all the ills of a government bring stigma on a particular community. When Amin was in power, all the ills of the government was westernized. When Nokelo was in power, maybe even Ogote, every ill was acholinized. <laughs> now everything is nyankolinized. <laughs> There's no tribe which has only good people. There's no tribe which has only bad people. We produce Joseph Cohen, but for God's sake, we also produce Jana and Luhum. So, so, I really don't care who goes to sleep and snore in state house. I have that ambition. I've not given up my ambition. But it's not a matter of life and death for me. What is a matter of life and death is to break this vicious cycle of violent change. And you can see what DP did was to create a bend because Uganda was becoming a pressure cooker. So we have created a very tiny vent and the steam is getting out. And those who want an explosion are annoyed with us because the explosion is not going to happen. And we expect that you people will also help to create more vents to, to remove this, this, this steam. So that is the context in which we can discuss. 80% of the proposals for constitutional reform are on my desk. Last year in October, I directed the Uganda Law Reform Commission to assemble all the proposals, including yours. The cabinet ministers here will bear me witness. We are bringing a paper 